Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, so I tried to wake up early here and uh, wanted to look into some more details um, and uh, exactly what's going on with the wildlife situation um, and kind of discuss some of these with you. So, yeah, I was really unable to even speak um, this morning about this topic um, because it's just so important. Um, and I wanted to try to uh, lighten up the topic a little bit, uh, kind of with a funny personal story um, and uh, kind of a, a interesting uh, project or whatever. So um, I... I don't know how to talk about this because it's it's so hilarious. Um, but um, so, you know, I'm always trying to come up with something really fun to do in my life uh, to make my uh, to make life better for everybody. Um, you know, sometimes you look at a really tough problem and you're just like, what are we going to do about this? This is terrible. Um, so, you know, essentially, um, you know, we're looking at a situation kind of like that right now. So. You know, I, I, uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of wiping a tear out of my eye here. Um, so, you know, last last night I, I moved the uh, calendar that I have of uh, some dogs and put that on my front door. So just to remind me that, you know, basically I'm living in a dog house um, because it really, you know, we need to think about, uh, you know, our planet in terms of where, where are the animals going to live? So, you know, I just put it as a constant reminder on my doorway, you know, like <laughs> where, where are the animals live? But to, to get an even funnier story is that, um, you know, it's possible, like we're watching this on video right now, which is kind of terrible. You know, I, 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 I hate doing this absolutely talking on video, but, um, you know, the, the interesting thing is that it's a it's a it's a good it's a actually fairly helpful sometimes educationally to find out about information um, like this and um, so I I don't like to talk about uh, specific things because I, I really I hate I hate details sometimes um, but um, there was a really funny thing because there's these people that live next door to where my parents live um, and they live on an, on an island actually um <clears throat> or it's not really an island but it you could be it's an island but um the funny thing is that these people that their last name is called danes um and if you're familiar with dogs uh the biggest dog is called a dane so um and sorry if this is being translated to another language but um essentially it's really funny to live next to the danes so i came up with this idea and i was like hey you know like I, I was I've been thinking about this wildlife problem for quite uh, some time. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure everyone thinks about it a, a bit. Um, but you know, having the Danes live next door was kind of like this surreal experience because I'm like, well, I'm a human, but the Danes live. They have this massive house that's way better than ours, and it was a brand new house. And um, so I I started to just I, I mean I, you don't really approach these people and say, hey, dogs, how are you doing? Um, but um, they moved out, and um, and uh, so I had this dream philosophically that you know someday we would start building these gigantic houses and beautiful things for the animals, and uh, maybe that could happen all over the world. You know, like why not? Like let's have a let's have a house for um, you know the chickens, or and, and just like convert the entire house to a chicken house. Um, and so it, it started with the, the Danes house because they live next door. And then I thought, well, um, my, my friend, their name was Henriksen or something. Right. And it had the word hen in it. And if you understand English, hens are birds. And I thought, you know, why not? Like, like we don't actually have like, you know, I, I'm a vegetarian. Um, I've been a vegan some parts of my life, um, to think about the importance of just eating um, grass, for instance, but, so the funny thing is, I was like, well, we need, in our town, like, you know, the, the, not only is the food situation bad, but the restaurant situation is bad, and the problem is, you have to have good quality, you have to treat your animals well, 
in order to have good food and you know um sometimes um you know like like with cows and, and milk and things like that um you know i try to get more quantities um and or get uh higher quality milk and you know like how we treat the animals is super important so in the town i was like well let's make a hen house and then get a chicken officer um, because the problem is that the houses are located in urban areas um, and also the problem is when you think about bacteria and disease um, if you've been following what's been going on with covid um, what you, we what we found and even in new york before covid there was a a chicken uh, area that um they were selling chickens or something and the disease got to be really bad because it got it, it got out into the public so basically when you have a disease that goes from animals to the public it becomes a very serious problem sometimes so but the real truth of the matter is that we need to know about diseases right if it's a disease that affects an animal well okay of course it might affect us too let's know about it um and it could disastrously destroy the even the human race and, and to some extent i mean we we've kind of destroyed the planet right so i mean it's kind of our faults for not living closer to the animals and, it, and it, the rules really change depending on the country right like so in india you know and even where i live they let the the uh it's called free range and they just open up the streets and it's way cooler in my opinion man i i i can't imagine you know, like i see i saw a stray white cat they're trying to get a couple hundred dollars because the, the, the cat left them. But quite honestly, if your cat's going to leave you, man, maybe you did something wrong. You know, you should really be having an animal where the animal wants to stay with you. You don't have to keep it in a cage to um, keep it there. So, but the interesting thing about the hen house is that, you know, so you get a combination where you, you there, there was an abandoned building further down the street that I noticed. And I was like, well... Okay, so it looks like this hen house is right on the highway, so we're definitely going to need a chicken officer to, like, patrol the street and let the chickens cross the street and roam around town. And, uh, you know, you know, and when I was in, in Florida, you know, they let the, the, the chicken, the roost. It's great because you don't have to wake up with an elect electronic alarm clock. You can um, basically listen to the sounds of the chickens and, the, you know, a rooster will start crowing and you're just like, oh, my God you know i guess it's time to wake up because the rooster says so and um but anyway with the chicken house you know there, there's basically a combination of problems right so we start to tr like if we if we basically donate the house so so the problem is no one in their right mind except for maybe a few people that are crying about it like me would say hey man i'm gonna donate my whole house to a freaking animal and we're just gonna raise animals here. And my dad told me that you know he works at a, a laboratory or, or whatnot, and used to, and now he's trying to do some other stuff with his life. But he said, well, one of his friends kind of converted um, part most of their house to, um, anyway, so, but again, it, you know, it, this is not about running experiments on animals. This is about actually treating them well um, and, and sometimes even living with them right so like like in, in in america as you can see here we have absolutely almost no wildlife right even in florida you can see the diversity is very low um and uh really in other parts of the world you you kind of do live with the animals more even like in your house right and um you know like whether it's a hut or whatever you're living in that's kind of cool you know it's it's kind of nice but you know we could do something a little bit you know because we're gonna have to go to other planets right so we, we have so many people that you know it's just getting out of bounds right so we we, we basically have, we're starting we're gonna go to the moon now right every every country in, in the world is now thinking about going to the moon um you know i've seen some pictures of what india is trying to do and china's trying to build an international space station because they're gonna crash that the the current one is gonna be is struggling right so more than people realize and um so anyway, but the, the thing is, is that, you know, li having, converting our houses, you know, it's kind of a problem is people are like, oh, I can't do that. Like that's, that's not realistic, Asher, sure, whatever. Well, actually, if you think about it, you know, you have a garage, right? So you could, you could deal something with your garage uh, or you have a, uh, um, you know, a porch that's maybe even screened in uh, and you can start doing some some interesting and funny things in your life and make your life special and and start listening to the animals more right it's either sit here and watch me you know cry on on uh video 
about the wildlife problem or actually start we can actually start doing something about it and actually make it pretty fun so um the question here is is really how do we start doing that and and it, and it really is you know it's kind of funny like maybe the situation could be pretty you know how to control funny um and good you know maybe we can really do something awesome so 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 when you start to work on these problems you can not only listen to the animals better but you can start to um uh you know essentially you know <laughs> give up your life for the wildlife right so you know the the question is here you know we don't really have the temperatures and the climate in north america right or even in europe or in uh, russia but they have certainly have a lot of land um and and things like that so there's there's it's, it's ironic that you can solve a problem sometimes far away from where the problem exists um but um there's interesting situations and and obviously um africa is dealing with this and uh brazil you know down in rio de janeiro here and sao paulo and certainly there's some very extremely important problems and i wanted to kind of zoom in on the map and i'm probably just going to stop the video and leave it at something a little bit more cheerful because sometimes if you're really depressed about the situation you're just like forget it <laughs> i'm not going to do anything about this so it's important to think creatively about the solution um i'm sorry i'm having a hard time talking about this so yeah i mean we got you know according to this map you know we got 1209 different species in some of these regions right and that means we need at least 1209 houses um now this number 12 is kind of a funny thing um because you know we have 12 months in the year uh we have the 12 apostles um and things like that but um you know i would encourage you to think about helping others and 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 you know it's not just you involved here right it's not just one animal or one species we have to think about a lot of different animals um and from what i'm reading uh the diversity is super important right so it's uh it's actually the problems are solved uh because of the complexity right so anyway i'm really sorry about this i'm kind of struggling to talk about this but uh you know basically what i'm saying is that we have to really you know it's a, it's a huge problem right and we need to think about it anyway um, I'm going to try to go into more details later, uh, when I can get outside, uh, actually listen to some animals and do some other things. <laughs>